Thousands of marine animals die each year when they become entangled in marine debris. Along the coast of Alaska and Canada, dozens of stellar sea lions become entangled in plastic debris floating in the ocean. They also face injury and death when they swallow fishing gear, including hooks and heavy line, when actively pursuing a hooked fish. Sport and commercial fishermen suffer large economic losses due to lost gear and valuable fishing time. We need your help to reduce sea lion injury and mortality by preventing entanglements in marine debris. And we also need to work together to develop effective ways to reduce sea lion and fishery interactions. Over 260 marine species, including a large percentage of the world's marine mammals, sea turtle, and seabird species, become entangled in or ingest marine debris. Since the late 1970s, the population of stellar sea lions in western Alaska has declined by over 80%. Although there are likely several causes, entanglement in marine debris is a contributing factor in sea lion mortality. What exactly is marine debris? Marine debris is typically defined as any man-made object, discarded, disposed of, or abandoned that enters the coastal or marine environment. It may enter directly from a boat or indirectly when washed out to sea by rivers, streams, and storm drains. Materials can be dumped, swept, or blown off vessels and stationary platforms at sea. Fishing gear may be lost from commercial fishing vessels as well as from sport boats and shore fishing activities. Derelict fishing gear includes nets, lines, crab and shrimp pots, and any other fishing equipment that has been lost, abandoned, or discarded in the marine environment. How do sea lions become entangled in marine debris? Sea lions can become entangled in marine debris accidentally when they're curious about a floating object or an object on land. When sea lions interact with certain fisheries, the result can be negative for both fishers and the sea lions. Sea lions can swallow a hook, become entangled in a net, or wrapped in a fishing line. And fishers can lose expensive gear, valuable time, and their daily catch. Some fishers have to go to great lengths to avoid sea lions, even pulling gear and moving to a new location. During an eight-year study in Southeast Alaska and British Columbia, 388 stellar sea lions were documented as either being entangled in marine debris or having ingested fishing gear. About half of the animals had some sort of debris around their necks, while the other half had interacted with sport or commercial fisheries and had swallowed fishing gear. There are several types of debris that are responsible for sea lion neck entanglements. Packing bands, which are used to secure bait boxes and other containers, account for over half of the identified stellar sea lion neck entanglements in a study in Alaska. This is a solvable problem. Large black and yellow rubber bands, rope, net, and monofilament line. About 80% of the ingested fishing gear came from salmon fisheries. Salmon fishery flashers or lures are quite visible and usually seen tight against the lip or mouth of an animal, suggesting a swallowed hook and line. Other types of swallowed gear and hook entanglements include long line gear, line and monofilament line, spinners and spoons, and bait hooks. Sadly, other types of garbage also contribute to the injury and death of sea lions. Near Ketchikan, Alaska, a subadult male sea lion was found with a tire around its neck. Biologists were able to remove the tire from the weakened animal and release it. However, this adult female was not so lucky. She swam into a windsock, which pinned her flippers to her body, causing her to drown. Entanglement in marine debris is non-discriminatory. It affects males and females in all age classes, from pups to adults. What happens to entangled sea lions? Some animals are lucky enough to have a neck entanglement break off, while others are not so lucky. Sea lions also die from complications associated with ingested fishing gear. 
Here's another marked sea lion that swallowed a hook, indicated by the visible flasher at the mouth of the sea lion. This sea lion was found dead about one month later. What about entanglements we may not see? We don't know how many sea lions have died from ingested marine debris that is not visible externally. It may surprise you to learn how long it takes for some marine debris to decompose. Over the past 40 years, plastic has replaced natural fibers in the fishing industry due to its light weight, low production cost, and physical and biological durability. Unfortunately, this durability can cost the lives of many species of marine life. Cotton rope lasts a year. Commercial netting, 30 to 40 years. A rubber boot sole can last 50 to 80 years. A plastic bottle, 450 years. Monofilament fishing line lasts 600 years. A glass bottle will last a million years. Why not just catch the sea lions and remove the entanglement? Entangled animals are often active, agitated, and can pose a danger to those trying to help them. Currently, there are no easy and safe methods to target and capture a specific subadult or adult sea lion that is entangled. In order to remove the debris, rescuers would likely need to sedate the animal and risk it jumping into the water and drowning. Limited methods are available to capture young animals, pups and juveniles, but this is extremely challenging. Researchers are exploring new ways to safely capture and disentangle stellar sea lions, such as using a net gun. But for now, the key is prevention. Since many of us live near some type of waterway, enjoy eating seafood, and use plastic materials, we all contribute to the problem. So let's be part of the solution. What can you do to reduce entangling marine debris? Lose the loop. Try to reduce any type of loop that could entangle marine animals. For example, always cut any loop before discarding in trash, or modify gear to avoid loops. Don't throw trash overboard or leave it on the beach. It could kill. Participate in coastal cleanup programs. If you're at the beach and see monofilament line, netting, or other loops, consider picking the trash up, cutting it up, and discarding it in the trash. Support recycling of monofilament fishing line. Remember that monofilament takes 600 years to biodegrade. And support the continued development of biodegradable fishing gear. Develop innovative methods to modify or eliminate plastic packing bands. As you might remember, plastic packing bands are a common cause of neck entanglements in stellar sea lions, as well as many other sea lion species, sharks, and other marine animals. Some possible solutions include using band-free boxes, developing a biodegradable glue so that the band separates after extended exposure to salt water, or using bags instead of boxes to hold bait. Modify fishing gear to avoid large rubber bands or any type of loop that could fall off or blow into the ocean. We need to work together to discover ways to modify fishing gear and to reduce stellar sea lion and fishery interactions. This is the biggest challenge, and we need innovative solutions. Teach children to be good stewards of the environment. And set a good example and educate others about the impacts of marine debris. By working together, we can not only reduce entangling marine debris, but we can also reduce economic loss to fishers. Thank you. Together, we can make a difference.